Sex is perhaps the most important thing to a man in marriage. So if you deny your husband of sex or use it as a bait to maybe get something from him or to punish him for something that he has done to you, then that is completely wicked and evil. Sex is how a man feels loved, appreciated and respected in a marriage relationship. The problem here is that most of us women, we do not understand that men are different from women you look at them in the physical appearance of course they are not looking like women but we don't completely understand that they don't think like women they are not wired like women so we have to stop seeing them as such and accept the fact that sex is mandatory for a man if you ask a man his top three needs or maybe top four needs in marriage i'm sure sex would be like number one on the list or maybe number two on the list but if you ask a woman the same question she might give you like 10 things or 7 things that are top priorities to her in a marriage relationship. And sex might not even make it to the list. That's to show you that to her is not so important. But to a man, it is very, very important. Now, before I continue with this line of subject, I would like to say here that I am referring to sexual relationship within the confines of marriage between a man and a woman, right? Who are healthy in a healthy relationship not a relationship that is toxic and maybe the man is like practically forcing himself on the woman you see and yeah, society can be very funny in the sense that sometimes you see older women giving younger women advice on how to succeed in marriage on how to you know avoid this and avert that and they even tell them how to like avoid having sex with your husband now in their mind they're not doing anything wrong of course because in their own way they're trying to like help these ladies or maybe help us Okay, but that is very wrong because you cannot deny something that is needful. You cannot deny something that is important. And you cannot begin to see it as a chore or as something that, ah, this one says, you only need to do every night, every night. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, now. Oh, yeah, now. You don't finish. You don't finish. No. See, the satisfaction a man gets from having sex is not just about the climax. It's about the satisfaction you as a lady also feels. It makes him feel like, yes, I'm a man. Yes, I can make her happy. You shouldn't see it as a chore, as something that you have to do, a tax you have to carry out. You know, you just have to do this thing. Let me can give her now. If I don't give her now, I go go outside. If you give it to him and you don't give it to him in a proper way that is going to be satisfying for him, he might still go outside. Because you see all these them ladies outside there, hmm. they don't get joy. <laughs> They don't get joy, you understand? They go, when they catch that man, if you don't come out again, that's just the sad truth. So we need to stop seeing these things the way we see them. Because even me too, yes, I was guilty of this in the beginning, the early stage of my marriage because of the way I grew up, the kind of upbringing I had, the orientation I had. My mom was a correct Deeper Life member. And you know what that means? If you're in Nigeria, you know what that means. If your mother is a Deeper Life member, not just a church goer, a worker, a leader, hey. The kind of upbringing and the kind of orientation we received is like, it affected me so much that in the early months of my marriage, like sometimes when I want to change and my husband is there, I'll be like, trying to use rapper, you know, like, it's still so strange to me that a man is there and I have to change. And sometimes I forget that, come, this is my husband now, chill, relax. I know all those kind of what we will get now, holy, holy, you know, <laughs> it took me quite some time to now adjust, you know, and become more free. And, you know, I don't know how to say it, but if you have the same experience, I'm sure you'd understand what I'm trying to say. So the point here is, uh, as a woman, the day you decided to get married and you say, I do to that man, that is the day you decided to accept him and accept his needs and accept the fact that to him, sex is food. You know, we find ourselves sometimes saying that now for you, this thing arises, this thing happen every time, every time. I'm not talking about those that want to have it like 17 times in a day. By the way, you shouldn't even be having it like 17 times in a day because you get work to do. Now, you know, get work. You need to go to work and, you know, come back home and have a balanced life. That is not the only thing you do in marriage. But most times when men are free, when they are at home during holidays and everything, their mind is always on that thing. So a woman that understands that, you know, there's a problem, no good day for our marriage, but it's going to be like minimal. Because the truth of the matter is uh, like 80% of the reasons why people divorce today 
is centered around sex. Is it that he's getting it from outside or he's not getting enough of it from inside or he's asking for too much of it and the wife is complaining? You know, these things are sent, if you look and check and well, they are centered around sex. So the day you decide to say, I do, I accept you, I love you for good, for bad, for plenty, for scarcity or whatever, you are also accepting this fact. The fact that you're going to do it and not just do it as an obligation or as carrying out a tax, but also enjoy it. Right? That is also important. Not just like about buying yourself some time, buying yourself one week or three days, depending on how often he comes for it. This is you like actively being in the moment, actively enjoying it and like showing him that, yes, you're the man. This thing I had to tell you, yeah. Oh goodness. He's going to make him feel very proud of himself. Feel that he has someone that appreciates him, that like sees him as a demigod. And when a man knows that you see him as a demigod, he's going to run back home. Who be that woman with the outside? Who be that side chick? They don't burn out. He don't bath. He never did. Do you understand what I'm trying to say, right? He's going to run back to you. He's going to like it because he knows that you respect him, you trust him, and you see him like you truly, truly see him. He's going to run back to you. Now, there are so many reasons why some women might not want to have sex with their husband regularly or there are so many reasons. For me, I've also experienced some of these things and I'm going to discuss that or maybe I'm going to talk about that in another video. But in this video, the topic here is that men need the sex. They need them. They need them. It's a need for them. It's mandatory in a compulsory thing too. It must knock. On a later date, I'm going to record a video as why your woman sometimes does not want to, you know? Because there are reasons to that. And you also need to understand that because when you understand that, you become less resentful to your wife because now you're seeing her from a place of understanding and she's seeing you from a place of understanding and you have a more harmonious relationship. So my darling woman, please just get the message. Men actually need this thing. There is no point in trying to shame him for asking for too much of it or maybe for always wanting it because that is something that is going to help him function better, especially when it has been activated in the confines of marriage. It makes him like think better, feel healthier, and even makes him happy. Yes, now it makes him happy. Sometimes all these guys will go sit there and they will come work in the morning. They're just whistling. Maybe he's the boss in the office. He's just whistling. Ooh, he's just so happy. Before you ask for something, he's already granting the request, you know, signing all approval. The wife don't, you know, don't give her well. He's well satisfied. He's happy. It might sound very funny, but this singular act alone can make him very, very happy. And when he's happy, it's going to affect everything around him including the children, his colleagues in the workspace, you know, his subordinates. It, it can affect his work positively when he is completely happy. All right, that is not the only reason why a man will be happy, but that is part of the reason why he's going to be cringy and not happy and so uptight and so sad and so annoying and angry. Okay, so, but when you understand this and you know that when he comes up to you and says, baby, or maybe he shows you by some way of notification that, you know, just don't just do it. Actively involve in it. Enjoy it. At the end of the day, you still be the one to reap these good fruits that will be born out of this whole experience, right? Thank you so much for watching. My name is Wendy Zill. If you've come across my face for the very first time, thank you so much for watching to this point. I appreciate you. And for all my returning subscribers, I love you and you know I appreciate you. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you have not done so yet, and turn on your post notification bell so that you don't miss any video from this channel. Okay, stay blessed, stay cheerful, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.